Now, you can increase your tally of wins to 54 if you win on Sunday. Uh, and if you do that, you will pass Sebastian Vettel for third in the all-time list. What would that mean to you? Yeah, of course, it's quite um, a crazy number. Um, but yeah, we've, of course, also, you know, we had a, a crazy, crazy year. So uh, it would, of course, be very nice. But at the same time, also, you know, I'm, I'm very focused on, on what's ahead of me. And hopefully also next year, you know, we have a competitive car again. Uh, we can really, you know, continue that, that momentum that we can uh, win more races. I always say, you know, I've been a lot of years in Formula 1 and it only matters where you finish in Abu Dhabi. It's the only thing people will remember. So from that perspective, it's a, it's a very nice achievement. Um, I'm obviously aware of, of the few, few bad weekends we had uh, and the reasons for it. I think we managed to understand a lot by now. So... I'm certainly a lot happy with my year than I was a few months ago. Um, and more than that, with the learning and the progress we, we made a, as a team in our side of the garage. Uh, I mean, I wish we weren't in the position we're in. I wish we were where we had been for you know, that, that nice margin for a period of time. But I guess it, it, it means we've got to work harder this weekend and I'm definitely excited for the battle. I don't know what we'll be able to achieve. Ferrari are quite, often quite quick here. but. Yeah, I'm definitely hopeful. A good year for me in general. At the same time, a bit underwhelming, you know, with the with the targets that we had set ourselves for this year. But we managed to come back well, understand the car better, and, and put together some strong run of results. And uh, yeah, I think we, as a team, we've progressed quite a bit. P4, P5, P6 in the drivers doesn't change uh, my life. Uh, uh, when I look back in 20 years' time, finishing P4, or P5 is not like changes your your career dramatically. But going into this weekend, it's a nice target to have, you know, try and finish before, try and take it as an important race. And that will help with the, now that we are all tired a bit with the intensity and putting some, some extra pressure. Uh, at the beginning of the year, we had some, uh, obviously some hopes, but uh, yeah, 12 months ago when we were here in Abu Dhabi testing for the first time the Aston Martin, it was, uh, yeah, it was unthinkable uh, to be in this position that we are today, 200 points uh, in the championship fighting with Mercedes, with Ferrari, with McLaren. This, this has been a, a tremendous season and uh, I enjoy every, every single race. No, I'm excited. Uh, I always enjoy driving here, but uh, you know, the car's in a good spot. The Oscar did a good job last weekend on, on Sunday. I was watching you know, as I flew away in the helicopter, um, strapped down. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like a great race. So uh, it was um, yeah, a shame to miss out on it. Of course, we lost out on a few points to, uh, to Aston who had a good result. But uh, I hope that was an abnormal, uh, abnormal weekend, and this weekend we can return back to normal. Well, I mean, obviously we are coming from, uh, especially the last race that has been very positive. The one before was very positive pace-wise, but obviously the result wasn't there for for me. But uh, everybody is super motivated to beat Mercedes in the in the constructor championship. Um, so. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, momentum is, is good, but uh, the big work remains to be done on track and um, we'll uh, make sure that we do everything perfect this weekend in order to, to beat them. We've been surprised a lot this season of um, which teams are fast at which races and, and vice versa. So we're going in with, with an open mind. Um, qualifying, I think they'll have slightly the upper hand as they, they tended to do so this season. But come Sunday, I think it'll be a different story and, and we'll have a good race. What has been the biggest lesson you've learned over the last 12 months? All the drivers are extremely competitive. All the teams now are extremely competitive and you, uh, you know, take it a little bit easy and, you know, you can suddenly lose a lot of time, a lot of positions. So um, that's probably the biggest one. I mean, there's been sort of specifics on driving and, you know, uh, energy management as well. It's been a busy year. Um, but, yeah, just how competitive everything's been that you can't rest on your laurels. Yeah, we've had a good run. Um, Vegas was uh, was fun. It was a fun race. Um, yeah, and, you know, we've picked up a lot of points over the last few races. So the uh, car's been feeling good. I think we definitely made some progress with the car over the last month, um, just kind of understanding it a little bit better and um, some of the things that, you know, maybe we got a little wrong, um, you know, the, over the last few months. I think we, you know, learned from that and, kind of got back to our stronger ways and you know over the last few weeks which um, has been good as a team we've we've most likely exceeded a few people's expectations um, 
we seem to make the most of our opportunities. I think that we we made the races where we were there for points counts, and likely that's what separated us from the midfield pack that are hosting our heels for the whole whole year. But um, no, it's been very good, and I think uh, uh, I'm, I'll look back at some of the races this year and be very fond of them. Without my feedback, you know, and also without Nick's feedback, um, it wouldn't be like this good. So I think also the people who work in the background in the Faenza and Vista, you know, the amount of work they've done is uh, crazy. Almost we have every upgrades every races. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's been so aggressive and finally we're able to show the performance, uh, kind of that efforts pay back finally. So hopefully, uh, we can have good results and it's also for final race for France, so hopefully we can make him happy. We try to get Alfa Tauri, it's only four points and it is realistic to, to get that, but there's been not many occasions that we've scored, so we need to get everything everything perfect. But um, So that's absolutely the target for this weekend, is trying to get them, and but for that we need to focus on ourselves as well. Yeah, well, it's obviously the season sporting-wise is, is not, you know, satisfying and, and not what we wanted, far from it actually. Uh, still, you know, all the other positives outweigh uh, the difficult Sundays and, and the, the lack of points. Um, yeah, just being in the competition again, you know, f fighting on lap one, that thrill, that excitement, and all together, the, the work with the team, uh, even the travelling, the stuff, it, yeah, it's all good and feel happy and, and ready for another one. We get a word from you on Franz Tost, team principal, he's stepping down after this race. How much will the team and Formula One miss him? You know, I remember quite vividly the first meeting I had in his office and, you know, I kind of bounced in with a, with a smile and I think he looked at me like, <laughs> tried to prepare me for, what, for what's ahead. You know, it's, uh, it's a serious sport and there's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough old world. So uh, I think, yeah, he, he kind of was very honest with me as well, but it, it, it made me a bit a little bit the same as, you know, with, with Helmet. Kind of made me mature a little quicker and um, ultimately grow up. And I think Franz has always been really involved. There's things I can improve as a driver and uh, I think everyone can make mis mistakes. And the uh, second year, I definitely felt I have improved together. It's more complete driving here in this paddock. Bit difficulty because we have several times when we had some good highs on Saturday. Sunday we had some issues very surprisingly so can't really invert the results on on the final class classification so uh, let's just finish the season on high. The upgraded car is, is more in line with the plan for next year. The the concept you know um, looks looks like what, what we think of next year so it it's not actually got more downforce on paper. It's not faster, but it's it is better to drive. It's easier. The balance is more consistent, and that's why you don't see a step back when we run the new the new spec. Although it's got less downforce, so I think that's what we need to um, yeah go go into to the winter uh, developing in in that direction. Are you now confident that you're going to get that seat for 2024? Uh, it's a good question. Honestly, I don't know, um, but I think. For me, it's it's just a case of taking it race by race. Um, I feel like, from a driving point of view, everything's been getting uh, much much better in the past. I don't know, however many rounds, and um, yeah, I'm just trying to do my my job the best I can. And um, yeah, I think with how it's been going recently, I I, I don't see any issues.